All right, I'm gonna give you a quick update on my tool trailer. One of my favorite magnets. That one and that one. But anyway, hadn't done a um, update on my enclosed trailer in a while, so I thought I would do that, at least get something on my channel. I was just replacing this. This cord that I've got running from the inside, it's just a surge protector. But every day when I get home, I can plug it up and start charging up. I was in here cleaning up, so it's still kind of a mess, but I'm getting a handle on it. Um, so every day when I come home, I plug that up. It's that um, surge protector, and I get my batteries going. That surge protector had a bad end on it, so none of my batteries were charging. So all that's going, I finally did get this one. This is a quick charger, and it does four at one time. These two down here just got, I don't know if the batteries, I think the batteries and the chargers, I don't know, maybe just the batteries, but I've even got a W wrote on those for a week because those batteries just, they wasn't holding the charge. They'd last five or 10 minutes. I think they're just shot. And the worst thing about these kind of batteries is running them outside in an enclosed trail. When it gets cold, I think it puts a hurt on those batteries. Um, did pick this up. It doesn't charge batteries but I can put my battery on the back and um, there's a cord that goes in there and it'll charge my phone or it'll just Bluetooth and pick up off my phone so I can charge my phone and play the radio. But my phone dies a lot. But, got two new additions to my trailer. Actually three. Got a microwave. Picked this up for about 60 bucks. Um, well, I forgot that one. I forgot that charger was it or that plug was even there So anyway um, This microwave like I said, I picked it up for about 60 bucks and I built the shelf That helped a lot with storage. I usually have my air compressor here. This is getting a little junky, but um, We got raincoats and just odds and ends in there and this is kind of a snack and I'm not doing too good on my snacks you can keep those stacked up in here. This stuff here is really time to throw it out. Just old goldfish pretzels. But I usually try to keep some pop tarts in here and Neecock crackers. Um, even got a little toaster over there. But the microwave, man, that's been awesome. Caleb hadn't been with us in four or five weeks. He's um, working at a military base, working on some airplanes and stuff. So that's pretty exciting. But anyway. When we got this microwave, me and Connor and Caleb, man, you thought we <laughs> thought we hit the jackpot. But every day at lunchtime, now we can bring more than just sandwiches. You know, we bring hot dogs or leftover spaghetti, whatever. It's nice to have. So that was awesome. And the only thing that could have put icing on the cake was this refrigerator. I had this in my garage, not using it. Or we had it plugged in, but never put anything in it. But so well, now we got that. So we can bring our leftovers, um, pop them in there every day. And, we, and when we get to a job site, if we're gonna be there more than an hour, we'll plug the trailer in. So our, the refrigerator keeps food cold, and then we can come over, pop it in the microwave, and um, we can eat a regular meal instead of eating ham sandwiches five days a week. We talked about putting a TV in here, but I think we realized that would wreck the day. <laughs> What I would like to get in here is an air conditioner. It gets so miserable hot in here. I'd love to I'd love to get an AC going. Um, not much else has changed. I don't I'm pretty sure these drawers were in here the last time I did an update. I don't know if this cabinet was in here last time I did an update, so I won't spend a lot of time on this. Well, I'll at least go through it in case you haven't watched any of my videos before. But all this is Ron Palk's stuff I got off of YouTube. These, these drawers come in super, super duper handy. It's nice to, it's nice to be able to, I mean, I've got, we've got it all figured out now. I ain't going to go through all of them, but any kind of pliers I got here, screwdrivers, I got everything the way I want it. And then this is an absolute mobile workshop now. Um, and these little dividers are nice. I got all my tools out of um, the boxes that they come in or you kind of store them in so I got everything popped in here everything's got a home um, 
I think all this stuff, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen before, but I've just got those containers for screws and stuff like that. I did pick this up. I don't know if this is gonna come in handy or not, but I'm hoping I might can use this for some smaller type things. The only drawback of these is you can't really see what's in there until you pull the container out and look at it. Whereas with this, you can um, see what's in there. It's not a lot of storage in there, but um, I've hesitated to get one of these because I didn't want to be riding down the road and these drawers fall open. But I saw this one had this lock where you can undo it and open them up and then put it back. And then when you're going down the road, they won't open. But if I know me, I'll leave that unlocked every single time when I'll come back. And even, in, even though they open up, I don't think they're gonna, it's, they don't come out of there real easy. But if they got a over half full, they're probably gonna spill out everywhere. So I don't know if that's gonna be helpful or not. But nothing else really much to show here. I've got these hangers for drop cords and air hoses. I really need to get another one, another one or two hooks because this stuff just gets really crowded in here. This harness that we have in here, it takes up a lot of space. I don't use it very often, but when we need it, it's good to have, even though I hate wearing it. It's just a pain when you're on a hot roof and that stupid harness is slamming you down on the roof the whole time. But you gotta have it, it's better than falling off. Anyway, need another couple hooks. You can see I got a light in here. I used to have this light in my other trailer. I had it on a switch, but this is an LED light. Ain't no point in putting it on a switch. It ain't burning any amount of power. So when I, see I got it running around. So when I plug my um, cord in every day when I come home, the light just comes on. Um, this vent on top got broken by we putting wood on top and just hit it. Plus, you know, you had to open and close it depending on whether it rained or not. So. If you can see that, I put that vent on there where it just stays open all the time, but the weather can't get inside of it. But this trailer still gets very, very hot. It's just miserable how hot it gets in here with no um, no air movement. So like I said, I would, I, I've considered getting a little, one of those air conditioners that just sits in the corner. You have to put a vent in it and just blows in here. This thing getting insulated, but I think it would help some. Either that or I'll put a box fan somewhere. So that's it. I'll cut this short. I didn't even think it'd go this long. Um, just wanted to pop this up there for a quick update on my tool trailer. Peace out.